A new government report is raising eyebrows across the country, especially among anyone interested in extraterrestrials. Muamua, which is an object that we detected in space that you believe could possibly have been extraterrestrial. The James Webb Space Telescope recently observed an intriguing object returning from space known as Oumuamua, sparking intense interest among scientists. What makes Oumuamua so unique is its elongated cigar-like shape and unusual movement pattern, leading some researchers to speculate that it may originate from another celestial body. Unlike typical comets, Oumuamua lacks the characteristic tail or coma, adding to its enigmatic nature. While some scientists attribute its behavior to natural phenomena like gas emissions, others entertain the possibility that it could be an extraterrestrial spacecraft. Let's explore the James Webb's revelation of Oumuamua's return and the intriguing possibilities it presents. Is it our friend? Back as a spy or a dangerous comet? It's hard to believe what the James Webb telescope just suddenly uncovered. Oumuamua is back. This time, it caused an atmosphere of curiosity among scientists. This familiar space body has shown an attitude that is way beyond the ordinary, making a mockery of predictions and rigid rules. This comet holds a record that keeps it from being just an ordinary space rock. It was the first acknowledged visitor from another star system, like an envoy from outer space. Instead of following the usual path around our sun like most asteroids and comets do, it chose a rather odd trajectory that hints at its alien origins, thereby causing heightened suspicion of danger lurking around. Scientists had to take immediate action to examine it. The more it was critically examined through the telescopes, the more confused it got. It has a reddish color that usually comes from being blasted by cosmic rays for ages, the strange part is that it didn't have the usual glowing tail that comets usually have, and that became a very hard aspect for scientists to unravel. It didn't just stop it being strange and away from the ordinary. There was more to it. It was spinning super fast and speeding up for no apparent reason, especially as it moved away from the sun, becoming the first that has been seen with such an attitude. Scientists were desperate to figure out why Oumuamua was going faster when everything they knew said it should be slowing down. Almost in a panic, they had lots of ideas flying around because this situation was something that scientists had not witnessed before. Some thought maybe it was outgassing, which is a thing that happens with comets, but urgent further investigation showed there were no signs of that happening with Oumuamua. With no solid evidence to go on, some bold suggestions and questions started popping up, such as, could Oumuamua be something made by aliens? Like a probe sent to check out our corner of space for a quick assessment? Professor Avi Loeb from Harvard even suggested it might be a flat light probe sailing through space, pushed along by radiation. While some people doubted this idea, it swiftly stirred things up. But just as quickly as Oumuamua showed up, it disappeared, leaving behind a bunch of mysteries. This discovery has really shaken up what we thought we knew about space, making us look deeper into the universe to find answers. Exploring the cosmos in search of clues. The super advanced telescope that can see through time and space, giving us an incredible view of the universe, is none other than the James Webb Space Telescope. It's been called a marvel of engineering because it's the most advanced telescope ever made. Its main job is to uncover the mysteries of space that have puzzled scientists for ages and to achieve what has not been achieved. One of its coolest features is its quick ability to spot faint heat signals from objects in space, which helps us understand things like planetary atmospheres, even on planets outside our solar system. The universe is huge and full of happenings that we barely understand. The James Webb Space Telescope is on a serious emergency mission to study all sorts of cosmic wonders in more detail than ever before. It's trying to answer some of the biggest questions humans have ever asked. Where did we come from? Are we the only ones out here? It's like our guardian in space, keeping an eye on all the happenings in the cosmos and sending us back data that could unlock some of the universe's biggest secrets. It's going to study things like exploding stars, black holes, and mysterious dark matter, among other things. Plus, its infrared abilities are showing us parts of space we've never seen before, like star-forming nebulae. 
The James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered some really exciting stuff. It found a bunch of baby stars forming in a place where we didn't expect them to, which is making scientists rethink how stars are born. Plus, it spotted some planets outside our solar system that might be just right for life to exist. Some of these planets even have atmospheres that hint at the possibility of life, which is super exciting. The aspect that amazed scientists was its ability to look back in time. It's captured light from galaxies that are so far away and so old that they formed not long after the Big Bang. These blurry pictures give us a glimpse into how galaxies, including our own Milky Way, came to be. It's like reading the early chapters of a book about the universe. These discoveries aren't just big, they're huge. The James Webb Space Telescope isn't just a fancy gadget, it's like a lighthouse guiding us. It's telling us to keep exploring, to keep learning, and to keep pushing the boundaries of what we know. It's an invitation for all of humanity to look up and wonder about the endless possibilities in space. The magnificent telescope made a stunning discovery about Oumuamua. With its super-powerful infrared abilities, the telescope got a closer look at Oumuamua than ever before. Oumuamua isn't just passing through this time. It's taking a wild path through our solar system, defying the rules of space. Usually comets and rocks in space follow predictable paths because of gravity, but Oumuamua seems to be doing its own thing, untouched by anything around it. Now, it's getting close to Mars, which has got everyone wondering, as something seems strange about it. The re-emergence of Oumuamua. Scientists all over the world are scrambling to figure it out because Oumuamua's return isn't just some random event. It's like a signal for us to dig deeper into the mysteries of space. Maybe the answers we're looking for are hidden in this strange wanderer, floating out there in the vastness of space. Oumuamua's got us all fascinated, and its name comes from Hawaiian and means scout or messenger from afar. When scientists first saw Oumuamua, it was just a quick visit, a blip on our space radars. But even then, its weird shape and fast spinning caught the attention of scientists and space enthusiasts. But what got everyone puzzled were the strange bursts of energy coming from it, like it's sending signals out into space. This isn't something normal space objects do. Plus, its surface seems to have changed somehow, hinting at something we don't understand yet. Maybe something from outside or inside Oumuamua itself. When Oumuamua was first detected, its peculiar features caused quite a stir among astronomers. They scrambled to come up with natural explanations to make sense of this cosmic oddity. One leading idea was solar radiation pressure. For instance, on Earth, the wind powers sailboats across vast oceans. Could the sun's powerful emissions of particles push a thin, flat object into space, causing it to speed up? While this explanation showed promise in shedding light on Oumuamua's mysterious path, the cosmos is full of possibilities, and new theories emerge continually. We know that as comets approach the sun, they release gases in a spectacular display, almost like they're exhaling. This gas release can act like the propellant in spacecraft, pushing them along. Observations and findings about Oumuamua's path were primarily gathered using data from the PanStars-1 telescope and the Canada-France-Hawaii telescope. Details about its composition and shape were discovered using the Very Large Telescope, the Gemini South Telescope in Chile, and the Keck-2 Telescope in Hawaii. These observations were conducted by Karen J. Meech, Robert Werrick, and their team, and their findings were published in Nature in November 2017. After this announcement, space-based telescopes like Hubble and Spitzer joined in the observations. Oumuamua dimmed significantly by 2020, fading to the 34th magnitude. It's relatively small and not very bright. During its closest approach to the sun in September 2017, it wasn't visible in stereo HI-1A observations, suggesting it was around 13.5 magnitudes in brightness. By the end of October that year, it had already dimmed to an apparent magnitude of about 23. In mid-December 2017, it became too faint and fast-moving to be studied further, even by the largest ground-based telescopes. Because of its interstellar origin and elongated shape, Oumuamua was likened to the fictional alien spacecraft Rama. 
it also has a reddish hue and variable brightness, typical of asteroids. The SETI Institute's Allen Telescope Array examined Oumuamua but found no unusual radio emissions. Further detailed observations using Breakthrough Listen hardware and the Green Bank Telescope were conducted. Despite the close encounter with this interstellar object, no narrowband signals were detected. This led to the conclusion that any potential transmitters had an extremely low effective power of 0.08 watts. Oumuamua's trajectory and velocity provide crucial insights into its interstellar origin and its journey through the solar system. It was observed coming from roughly the direction of Vega in the constellation Lyra, with its incoming direction of motion approximately 6 degrees from the solar apex, indicating a likely interstellar origin. The object's hyperbolic trajectory and high eccentricity, exceeding 1.0, confirm that it is not bound to the solar system and will eventually escape to interstellar space. This eccentricity is the highest ever observed until the discovery of Tuai Borisov in August 2019, ruling out interactions with planets within our solar system as the cause. As it passed through the solar system, Oumuamua reached its maximum speed of 87.71 km per second at perihelion, the closest approach to the Sun, on September 9th. The Sun's gravity then bent its orbit in a sharp turn northward, propelling it away from the Sun toward Pegasus. During its outbound journey, Oumuamua passed beyond the orbits of Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and Neptune. It will continue to slow down as it travels further from the Sun, eventually reaching a speed of approximately 26.33 kilometers per second, similar to its pre-approach velocity. This unique trajectory and velocity trajectory highlights the extraordinary nature of Oumuamua as the first known interstellar object to pass through our solar system, providing valuable insights into the dynamics of interstellar travel and the potential for encountering similar objects in the future. Among the countless objects in the universe, few have intrigued, stirred controversy, and sparked speculation as much as Oumuamua, Earth's very first visitor. Oumuamua is a small object, maybe 100 to 1,000 meters long and 35 to 167 meters wide, with a red color like things in the outer parts of our solar system. Even though it got close to the sun, it didn't have the usual fuzzy cloud around it that comets usually do. It spins like other rocks in our solar system, but it's shaped in a way that's different from most things we've seen. It doesn't belong to any of our known planetary systems, and we're not sure how old it is or where it came from. Most scientists think Oumuamua is a natural thing, but we didn't get to study it for very long. So we're not entirely sure. It might be made of rock-like asteroids or have some ice-like comets. Some think it might be what's left of a comet that broke apart, or maybe a chunk of a faraway planet with lots of frozen stuff on it, similar to Pluto. In 2023, some astronomers suggested its speed up was because of gas trapped inside, which means it could be an interstellar comet, sort of like comets we see in our solar system but from somewhere else in space. Its odd behavior and features make some scientists and enthusiasts speculate that it might be an artificial probe sent from another civilization to check out our solar system. The fact that there's even a theory suggesting Oumuamua could be something alien is pretty fascinating. Scientists don't fully understand it yet, which is why they're exploring all sorts of ideas, even ones that there are aliens out there who keep developing. Oumuamua's mysterious nature alone is enough to grab our attention. It's like a cryptic message from outer space that we're trying to decode. Oumuamua's return gives us a chance to gather more data and hopefully get some answers. But the changes make it even harder for us to figure out what Oumuamua really is. Our solar system is just a tiny speck in the vastness of space. The universe is vast, with billions of galaxies, each filled with stars and planets. The identification and classification of Oumuamua have been subject to revisions and debates since its discovery. Initially, it was designated as Comet C2017U1, pan stars, due to its strongly hyperbolic trajectory. However, subsequent observations revealed no evidence of cometary activity, leading to its reclassification as A2017U1, 
making it the first comet ever to be redesignated as an asteroid. When its interstellar origin was confirmed, it was designated 1I2017U1, marking it as the first member of a new class of objects. The absence of a coma suggests that Oumuamua has minimal surface ice, with any volatiles likely lying beneath a thick crust. This indicates that it either formed within the frost line of its parent stellar system, or spent enough time in the inner region for surface ice to sublimate, similar to Damocloids. Determining which scenario is more likely is challenging due to the chaotic nature of small body dynamics, although its spectrum suggests the latter scenario. On June 27, 2018, astronomers reported evidence suggesting that Oumuamua might be a mildly active comet rather than an asteroid, based on measurements indicating non-gravitational acceleration consistent with comet outgassing. However, Subsequent studies in October 2018 proposed that it may not fit neatly into either category. Some astronomers suggested that it could be a remnant of a disintegrated interstellar comet, known as an exocomet. But early observations suggest that the mystery is only getting deeper. Its behavior and path seem even more unpredictable this time around. Plus, its speed, direction, and even its physical characteristics seem to have changed since last time. What makes this space body different? Observations and analyses conducted using various telescopes revealed interesting details about Oumuamua, spectra from the hail. Telescope on October 25th showed a red color resembling comet nuclei or trojans. Subsequent higher signal-to-noise spectra from the William Herschel telescope confirmed the object's featureless red color, similar to Kuiper belt objects. Spectra obtained with the Very Large Telescope indicated consistency with D-type asteroids. Regarding its rotation, Oumuamua appears to be tumbling rather than rotating around its principal axis. This tumbling motion leads to various reported rotation periods, with estimates ranging from 7.3 to 8.10 hours. It's believed that Oumuamua was set tumbling by a collision in its original system and has remained tumbling since then. The object's light curves suggest a highly elongated shape, possibly resembling a cigar-like object or an extremely flat object, like a pancake or oblate spheroid. However, Direct observations of its size and shape have not been possible due to its appearance as a point source of light in telescopes. The estimated dimensions vary depending on assumptions about its albedo and shape, ranging from approximately 100 meters to 1,000 meters in length. Studies suggest that Oumuamua may be composed of dense metal-rich rock reddened by exposure to cosmic rays. Its surface likely contains tholins, organic compounds irradiated by outer solar system objects, which contribute to its reddish color. Despite lacking a cometary coma, it may still contain internal ice, shielded by an insulating mantle. Some astronomers have proposed that Oumuamua could be a cosmic dust bunny, consisting of lightweight conglomerates of dust and ice grains. However, its exact compositional nature remains unknown as studies continue to unravel the mysteries surrounding this interstellar visitor. How about other space bodies that repair it? Other unique visitors from space. On February 11, 1978, Keith Tritton, using a large telescope called the 122C Schmidt Telescope, discovered a comet during a deep 3AJ exposure. This discovery was significant, as comets are often elusive and their detection requires precise observation techniques. Following its initial discovery, the comet seemed to disappear during expected return periods in 1984, 1990, and 1996. It was believed to be lost during this time. However, on October 6, 2003, using images captured with a 0.12M refractor, astronomers C.W. Jules and P. Holvorsum detected a comet that appeared to be in a similar orbit to the previously lost comet. This discovery led to the realization that it was indeed the same comet discovered by Keith Tritton. The calculated orbit of the rediscovered comet was confirmed to be identical to the one discovered by Tritton. This information was published in International Astronomical Union, 
IAU, Circular, number 825, issued on October 7, 2003. The successful recovery of the comet demonstrated the effectiveness of modern astronomical techniques in tracking celestial objects over extended periods. Subsequently, the comet was observed during its apparitions in 2010, 2016, and 2022, further solidifying its identity and trajectory. In a noteworthy development on October 2, 2022, astronomers announced the discovery of a new fragment of the comet. This fragment, designated as Fragment B, has a smaller orbit compared to the primary fragment. Based on orbital calculations, Fragment B is expected to reach its closest point to the Sun, known as Perihelion, in March 2028. Following this, the primary fragment is projected to reach Perihelion in May 2029, approximately one year, two months, and 11 days later. This discovery adds new dimensions to our understanding of comet behavior and provides opportunities for further study of these fascinating celestial objects. The Teutneumann del Port of Jupiter It is a periodic comet belonging to the Jupiter family, meaning its orbit and behavior are significantly influenced by the gravitational pull of Jupiter. In 2002, astronomers discovered that the comet had broken up into at least 20 fragments. These fragments were found scattered along the comet's orbital path, spanning an angle of 27 arc minutes from the surviving head of the comet. The discovery of this comet has a complex history involving multiple co-discoverers and challenges with communication, particularly during World War II. Daniel Dutois initially discovered the comet, retrospectively designated as P194101, on July 18, 1941, while working at Boyden Station in South Africa. However, due to delays in communication, his message about the comet did not reach Harvard College Observatory until July 27. Meanwhile, Grigory N. Neumann at the Simeus Observatory in the Soviet Union independently discovered the comet on a photographic plate exposed on July 25. However, his confirmation of the observation was delayed by communication issues, with the radiogram from Moscow taking 20 days to reach Harvard. The official announcement of the new comet was made on August 20, 1941. Subsequently, it was revealed that Eugène Joseph Delporte at the Royal Observatory in Belgium also discovered the comet on August 19, leading to his inclusion as a co-discoverer. Additional observations were reported by Paul Annert at Sonneberg, Germany, who observed the comet on July 22. However, this information arrived too late to be officially recognized as a discovery. Fragment A of the comet was last observed in 2002. Comet Taylor is a periodic comet within our solar system, first spotted by Clement J. Taylor in Cape Town, South Africa, on November 24, 1915. Let's explore Clement J. Taylor's shocking revelation. Later observations by George Van Beesbruck and E. E. Barnard at the Yerkes Observatory in Wisconsin, United States, revealed that the comet had split into two distinct nuclei, although this phenomenon was not observed after March 16. Despite predictions for its return in 1922, the comet was lost, earning it the classification of a lost comet. In 1928, the discovery of Comet Rheinmuth 1 was initially mistaken for Comet Taylor, and the same error occurred in 1951 with Comet Arend Rigaud. The comet's return in 1976 was foreseen by N. A. Belyaev and V. V. Emel Yanenko, and on January 25, 1977, Charles Cole at the Palomar Observatory in California, United States, discovered photographic evidence from December 13, 1976. Comet Taylor was rediscovered for its returns in 1984 and 1990. In January 1998, it was observed with a magnitude of 12 when it was one astronomical unit from Earth. Only six images of Comet Taylor were captured during its October 2018 recovery, when it had a magnitude of about 20.5. Due to limited observations, there is a three sigma uncertainty in the comet's distance from Earth estimated to be plus 6,000 kilometers when it reaches perihelion on March 18, 2019, at a distance of 2.45 AU from Earth. 
Comet 72P Denning Fujikawa has had a mysterious journey since its discovery in 1881. It disappeared for almost a century before being rediscovered in 1978. Despite predictions, it doesn't always show up when expected, leading astronomers to classify it as a transitional comet. Its behavior remains unpredictable, with irregular sightings and a gradually shifting path away from Earth. The mysterious 72P Denning Fujikawa Comet 72P Denning Fujikawa is a periodic comet that was first discovered by William Frederick Denning on October 4, 1881. However, it wasn't observed again until it was rediscovered by Shigehisa Fujikawa in 1978. Between December 29, 1978 and June 17, 2014, the comet couldn't be located. But on June 17, 2014, it was spotted again by Hidetaka Sato with an apparent magnitude of 16 when it was 50 degrees away from the sun. The comet reached its perihelion in June 2023 and is expected to reach it again in May 2032. Despite predictions, the comet couldn't be seen during some perihelion passages, even when it was expected to be relatively bright, like in 1960 and 1969. It's believed that the comet is only active occasionally, which led to its classification as a transitional comet. In 1978, it was observed at around magnitude 10, but it was missed in 1987, 1996, and 2005, likely because it only brightened to about magnitude 13 to 14 during those passages. In August 1881, the comet passed relatively close to Earth. At a distance of 0.1116 AU, about 17.4 million kilometer. Over time, its perihelion distance will gradually increase from 0.79 AU to 0.82 AU between 1855 and 2059. Comet 80P Peters Hartley is a comet that orbits the Sun every 8 12 years. It was first discovered by Christian Heinrich Friedrich Peters in Naples, Italy. But because there wasn't enough information to track its path accurately, the comet disappeared for over a hundred years. Thank you for watching. Comment to share what you think in the comment section below. Remember to like and subscribe to see more videos.